Thomas Edison might be rolling over in his grave right now. Take a look at General Electric shares. Flat, but uh, you can see earlier they were down. Shares are clawing back in the final hour of trade. Why? Well, Charlie Gasparino tweeted this out. 3.25 p.m., General Electric said to have multiple bidders for its iconic lighting business. That began more than a century ago, Charlie. You know, poor Tom. I mean, that's what happens when you run a company that's light on cash flow, that may cut its dividend, that needs to sell $20 billion of, of assets. You go for the stuff that, that people will buy. And from we understand, they, well, it's, it's been no, people know that they're out there hawking the iconic lighting business that began with Thomas Edison, the great founder of GE. But what we are. Uh, Such a charming word, hawking. <laughs> yes, but it's true. Uh, what we understand uh, from sources close to the company is that uh, they uh, have multiple bidders for this, that there's not just one, one company interested in, there's several companies interested in, and that's a good thing if you're, if you're GE looking to sell something and get some cash. Now, what we understand what people are saying is that uh, they could get about a billion dollars for this. That still does not make up, uh, you know, a lot of the ground that, that Mr. Flannery, CEO John Flannery, has to has to make up given the the, the deep hole he's in. Uh, as we were first to report, the one of the things that's on the table if they don't improve the cash flow situation through these sales is the dividend, and mm -hmm. the com and the company reiterated that yesterday to me that it is that when Mr. Flannery said it was on the table after our report that it was on the table. Uh, another network. I can't remember the name. Do you, do you know those guys? Well, they said they weren't going to sell it, or it's, there's no plans. no plans. I like the fact when you say no plan. Plans means you got the, the, the thing drawn up, you're ready to sell. Save the tape. Yeah, uh, I'm just, yes, but I'm just saying, listen, they might not sell it, but what I'm saying is it's on the table. So you can have no plans and still be on the table, and that's essentially what GE. Uh, a senior official at GE reiterated. Wouldn't that mean yesterday. everything's on the table if the uh, light bulb business? Yes. Is well, yeah, and I think that speaks to um, the, the the situation that they're in. Listen, the analysts, I would think I think the analysts come out seventy thirty on this. There are thirty percent of the analysts think that this is a buy opportunity because the stock's going to twenty, that they've hit their low, and you can see some of that in the options trade. There are you know people are buying options, betting the stock is going to go up. So there's some of that. Then there's about 77% of the analysts, uh, J.P. Morgan, Bank of America, and a few others saying, you know, it, this company has so many problems that they need, that, that they have to cut the dividend in the short term. They have a debt problem, they have a pension problem, and they need cash flow. And you know, this is a five-year tearjerker right. here. Right, right. And they, so they have to cut the dividend. So when you have to cut the dividend, if, if you think if the dividend's on the table, then the lighting business is obviously on the table. But what we hear, and this is a good story, um, we should put a one. Day, can we get a one day there? Just I want to see what a stock is right now. Right now, it's time. at fourteen dollars and sixty it's, cents. It's flat. So flat we, to slightly low. It okay. looks like it's deciding what to do well, no, on no, your the, report. The stock is up on the now the stock has turned positive for the first time By today. By a penny. The first time today. It was down it was down almost one and a half percent at one point today. So the stock has turned positive on the Fox Business Report. That's what we have here. That they, they have multiple bidders for uh, this unit. We understand the price could be about a billion. You know, one interesting name that came up, it was a Chinese lighting company, MLS. Not that I know I'm an expert in Chinese lighting, but I hear that's one name that's out there. I'm not saying that's the one that's going to buy it, but you know, I wonder if the Trump administration would allow that would allow that to happen. So, I mean, you know, if they're looking at European right. SUVs as a security concern yeah. for a reason to slap would tariffs G, could on, could GE be able to sell to a Chinese company its lighting technology? Mm -hmm. Which I don't know. You might be able to do something with that. Harvey Weinstein, you saw the book he was carrying on Ilya Kazan. Yeah, uh, you Kazan know, ratted out. Some Hollywood producers, and right. that's why he was blacklisted. Yeah, I, you know, I, I hate to speak about stuff that I don't know a lot about, other than Ellie Kazan. Well, did. that's never stopped no, a lot of it us ha here. It has stopped me. Uh, he did one of the, he, I guess he directed one of the greatest movies of all time on, on the, the water, waterfront. On the waterfront. I'm getting tweets about that. Yeah. That is the most incredible movie of Marlon, many decades. Marlon Brando. Who is the love interest? Of, um, uh, oh, she, well, I remember her character's name. Yeah, but I forget her name. Um, Carl Malden, the, the priest. Oh, the priest. And that was an iconic role. And it was just, it was just an amazing film. I, I, see, I watch it every now and then, you know, I would say. Me too. Anytime it's on, I have to watch 
What a lesson in standing up for what's right. Yeah, it is. It is. Could and and you know, Ellie months. Kazan believed he was standing up for what's right. I'm right. not condoning what he did mm -hmm. in terms of uh, Joe McCarthy, but he believed he was standing up for what's right. Now, it's interesting why Harvey Weinstein, I mean, would be you know, carrying that. You know, the Twitterverse is going and nuts. And for those of you who don't know, there were more than a hundred photographers and camera crews out right. there watching this. And now that book uh, by Richard Schenkel on Ilya Kazan yeah. is number 15. It was written in 2006. I can't imagine it had that many sales up until before today. But well, uh, there was something countdown. It's interesting. Noticed. People on Twitterverse, they're debating whether that's some sort of a he's trying message. To message that, you know, I'm going to uh, I've been singled out and blacklisted here yeah. or he just was carrying a book with him. I mean, who knows? all right, Charlie, thank you very much.